I'd like to see your nails. Hold out your hands. There. What is this? How dare you, boy? Dirty hands in my classroom. Get to the corner. Put on that hat immediately. on my hand and I don't understand why I have to have it on. In silence, class. Sit down. With the inspection out of the way, let's hope there's no more troublemakers this morning. I beg your pardon. How dare you speak Welsh in my classroom? The Welsh knot is used to shame students who spoke Welsh. Despite it being their first language. I look like an idiot! Girls should know their place in the classroom. Bless your senses! If you carry on answering that young lady, you too will face punishment. Ooh. Okay, sit down quietly. The girls have been treated differently to the boys. But only the boys are allowed to like misbehave for mess. It's just unfair. It's true, school wasn't very fair back then. Sit in the corner and face the wall. <laughs> Let's hear what all your servants have to say about the teaching back then. Teaching in Victorian times is way different because they're ten times as strict. You do one teeny thing wrong, they're, they're on to you. You just can't do anything. Like nowadays they're not as strict, but some can be like really strict. And if you were speaking or something in class, you all know what's happening. There's a pain coming out, and come on, we all know what's happening for me. You better be on your best behaviour then, Rio. Because Mr. Campbell is up next. Some of you may not have been taught by me before. Why, Mr. Campbell, to you, is sir <laughs> at all times. Sir. We'll be learning several things today. First of all, your social standing. Girls, you will always sit at the back of the classroom because the British Empire is built upon the minds of these fine young men. But women too! Do you understand? With the boys being treated better and differently to the girls, I think it's absolutely ridiculous because mm -hmm. gender equality. Gender equality, hun. Humanity. No, Talks down. If you cannot control a chalk, young lady, you will never be able to run a house. So I suggest you start listening. I can cook a lasagna. Start are very poor. I would like you all to sit up straight, like upstanding members of this country. Back straight, feet planted to the floor, and cross those legs. I would like you to write your first name on your slate at the top of your slate, please. It's my hope that following this experience of kind of spending a day in old school or going back in time, that children will come and realise just how lucky they are with their lessons. Hold your slates up and show me your name. Not that your names are particularly important to me. My name is... You don't care about our names. You don't care about us at all. He doesn't care about girls anyway. <laughs> Write this three times on your slate. It's not taken long for the novelty of being taught like the Victorians to start wearing off. I just don't like it. I didn't get excited at all. This is boring and childish. What's the point in life? This is the way you do, young man, and there'll be a woman taking your place in this world. We're, we're equal. Nobody cares no more. The boys are being treated differently to the girls. I don't think it is fair. Okay. What we're trying to make you understand is that 100 years ago, a little bit before that, girls didn't even go to school. It wasn't considered important in society to educate you. How ridiculous is that? So school was tough. I think back in them days, the girls should be treated the same as the boys. It was a stupid rule. And it should have never been like that. <laughs> there wasn't much fun to be had in lessons back then. So as a little treat, I've lined up some old school things for break time. Okay, so we can have a little bit of fun. Okay, but this style. When we went outside, I saw a football and I was like, and I was like yes, there's a football. And then they said, this is this football is used for cats. And I'm just like, was it really not invented back then? Yeah, it was. 
in the best games. Teacher, 
once I choose to marry. It's actually like really sad because that actually was happening back then and it's just sad to think that so many girls were treated like that. They weren't appreciated, they're not supposed to have a good education. The main education is for boys because apparently they're supposed to run the world. They don't realise yet in them times that girls can be helped too. So that is our domestic science lesson over. Socks and shirts to the desk and you stand behind your chairs. Nice and straight as young ladies would be expected to stand. Well done, class. Dismissed. I think you're seven are starting to understand how tough lessons were back in the Victorian days. Gym instructor Mr. Fullthorpe has one final surprise for them. Yeah, yeah. 